Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Beast Alvarado. In today's video, we're going to do a full review on the new Ultimate Legend players that will be dropping tomorrow. Even though the game is dead, Madden 21, people are still playing it. People are getting reps for Madden 22. So let me know in the comment section down below. Will you guys pick up any of these players? Yes or no? And let me know down below. Are you guys ready for Madden 22? Yes or no? If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I will be uploading a lot of content for Madden 22. So if you guys want to stay updated, show some love, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see for Madden 22. I'm looking at all the comments. I'm gonna upload it. If you guys wanna see it, I'm gonna upload it. So leave a comment. So right above are the three players I'll be dropping tomorrow for Ultimate Legends. And let's be honest, at this point, if you're still playing Madden, I mean, you're a true Madden fan, and you guys are getting those reps for Madden 22. But I feel like at this point, if you're running Madden, you're either having fun, trying different theme teams, or even trying out different players. And I guarantee some of you guys watching this video have a theme team. So let me know in the comment section down below which theme team are you guys running. Currently, I'm running 49ers. I feel like that's one of the best ones within the game. But let me know your thoughts down below. Our first player is Troy Vincent. These are all the teams that he played for. Nice speed for a cornerback at this point of the year. That's a huge L. I mean, let's just be honest. The game is dead, and EA can't even give a cornerback 99 speed, not even 98 speed. Obviously, if you guys power him up, gives him to a 97, and then with plus 2 sprinter, 99. But stock card, a 96 speed, that's an L for me. 96 acceleration, 95 agility. Just jumping's all right, 99 play recognition. And for me, let me know your thoughts down below. Each time I pick up any cornerback, either this year, especially next month, when match between two drops, these are the stats that I really look at with speed. Man coverage is 94, that's bad. 98 zone coverage, that's good. And 95 press, obviously powered up and chemmed up with chemistries locked down on defense. This card's a lot better, but look at it stock for a 99 overall card. This is an L. This is horrible. I mean, let me know your thoughts. Out of the three players that will be in this video, which of them would you guys pick up? For me, Troy is a pass. Our next player is Decon Jones, right end power rusher. I mean, let's just be honest. I mean, if you guys are running any right ends, that's kind of an L because you guys can substitute linebackers at the defensive line and they're a lot better and faster. 86 speed, 95 acceleration, 94 strength, 96 tackling, and he's a limited edition, which I mean, that's an L. I mean, you could pick a better player to give uh, LTD, except with Decon Jones. 98 player recognition, 95 block shedding, 99 power move, and 92 finesse move. So once again, the game is dead, and EA decides to release new players when the game is dead and not juice them up and give them the best, you know, numbers or the best stats overall. That's an L in my opinion. I mean, if you're going to release these players this late into the year, at least make them the best players within their position, in my opinion. Our next player is, sad to say, the best player out of the three that will be dropping tomorrow. I'm going to have to pick him up because he will fit in my 49ers theme team. Overall, I'm a pass-heavy player. Let me know what type of player you guys are. Don't tell me you're a runner, bro. Be a passer. It's a lot more fun, and it's good for the game. 95 pass block, 98 pass block power, 94 pass block finesse. Then obviously all the running stats are good. But if you guys are like me, you guys rarely run the ball. I only run the ball probably like five times within the game. I'm a pass heavy player. I feel like it's more fun. But overall, EA, you're telling me you're releasing late Ultimate Legends. And you're telling me out of three, Larry Allen's the best? Shaking my head. This week's Ultimate Legend was an L. Last week was way better. But let me know your thoughts down below. So let me know your thoughts down below for the three Ultimate Legends that I'll be dropping tomorrow. At this point, the game is dead. You release new players, and they're not even that good. This week was an L for Ultimate Legends. Let me know your thoughts down below. Also, two of you guys made this far into the video. I appreciate if you guys liked the video. Show some love, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see on this channel. I'll post everything from face of the franchise, mud tips, gameplays, Whatever you guys want to see, I'll post. So leave a comment down below. Hope you guys enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you guys on the next one.